Hi everyone. Hope you are fine. God loves you so much. I'll be speaking on a great topic today. Signs of the second coming of Jesus. Signs of the second coming of Jesus. My last topic was on why God wants you to be silent. I will drop in the link below this video and do well to watch these videos to the end to be well enlightened. And if you have not subscribed yet, you have to do that now because I'll be dropping inspiring, motivational and God's great videos for you. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for my next video. Thank you. For thousands of years, followers of Jesus Christ have looked forward to the second coming as a time of peace and joy. But before the Savior comes, the people of the earth will experience great trials and calamities. Our Heavenly Father wants us to be prepared for these troubles. He also expects us to be spiritually ready when the Savior comes in His glory. Therefore, He has given us signs which are events that will tell us when the Savior's second coming is near. Throughout the ages, God has revealed these signs to His prophets. He has said that all faithful followers of Christ will know what the signs are and will be watching for them. If we are obedient and faithful, we will study the scriptures and know the signs. Some of the signs foretelling the second coming of Jesus Christ have already been or are now being fulfilled. Others will be fulfilled in the future. Wickedness, war, and turmoil. Many of the signs are terrifying and dreadful. The prophet have warned that the earth will experience great turmoil, wickedness, war, and suffering. The prophet Daniel said that the time before the second coming will be a time of trouble such as the earth has never known. See Daniel 12 verse 1. The Lord said, The love of men shall wax cold, and iniquity shall abound, and all things shall be in commotion, and fear shall come upon all people. We can expect earthquakes. Disease, famines, great storms, lightning, and thunder. Hailstorms will destroy the crops of the earth. Jesus told his disciples that war would fill the earth. You shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against 24 6 7. The prophet Joseph Smith says, Be not discouraged when we tell you perilous times, for they must surely come, for the sword, famine, and pencilers are approaching. There shall be great destructions upon the face of this land. For ye need not suppose that one jot or little of the prophecies of all the holy prophets shall fail. And there are many that remain to be fulfilled yet. Many of these signs are being fulfilled. Wickedness is everywhere. Nations are constantly at war. Earthquakes and other calamities are occurring. Many people now suffer from devastating storms, drought, hunger and diseases. We can be certain that these calamities will become more severe before the Lord comes. However, not all these events preceding the second coming are dreadful. Many of them bring joy to the world. The restoration of the gospel. The Lord said, Light shall break forth among them that sit in darkness, and it shall be the fullness of my gospel. Prophets of old foretold the restoration of the gospel. The Apostle John saw that the gospel would be restored by an angel. Revelation 14, 6-7 The coming forth of the book of Mormon. The Lord told the Nephites of another sign, the book of Mormon would come to order descend their descendants in Old Testament times. The prophet Isaiah and Ezekiel foresaw the coming of the book. Isaiah 29 verse 4 to 18 and Ezekiel 37 16 to 20. These prophecies are now being fulfilled. The book of Mormon has been brought forth and it's been taken to all the world. The gospel preached to all the world. Another sign of the last days is that the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a weakness to all nations. All people will hear the fullness of the gospel in their own language. Ever since the restoration of the church, missionaries have preached the gospel. The missionary effort has increased until now tens of thousands of missionaries preach in many countries of the world in many languages. Before the second coming and during the millennium, the Lord will provide ways to bring the truth to all nations. The coming of Elijah. The prophet Malachi prophesied that before the Savior's second coming, the prophet Elijah year of wars, Kai prophesied that before the Savior's second coming, the prophet Elijah will be sent to the earth. Elijah will restore the sealing powers of families, could be sealed together. He would also inspire people to be concerned about their ancestors and descendants. How can we remain calm and at peace 
even when some of the signs are terrifying and dreadful. Speaking of his second coming, the Lord said, The hour and the day no man knoweth, neither the angels in heaven. He taught this with the parable of the fig tree. He said that when we see a fig tree putting forth leaves, he can tell that summer will come. Likewise, when we see the signs described in the scriptures, we can know that his coming is near. Matthew 24, 32, 33. The Lord give these signs to help us. We can put our lives in order and prepare ourselves and our families for those things yet to come. We have been warned of calamities and told to prepare for them. But we can also look forward to the coming of the Savior and be glad. The Lord said, Be not troubled, for when all these things, these signs shall come to pass, ye may know that the promises which have been made unto you shall be fulfilled. He said, Those who are righteous, when he comes, will not be destroyed, but shall abide on the day. And the earth shall be given unto them for an inheritance, and their children shall grow up without sin. For the Lord shall be in their midst, and his glory shall be upon them, and he will be their king and their lawgiver. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. God bless you.